trying a little something different this time around. Hope you guys enjoy this mini tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is find your midway point on your wooden board. I didn't do a very good job of this, um, but as you can see, you're going to measure the midway point and then use that midway point, which is, this is a two foot board. So I'm going to measure um, a foot down and then I'm going to do the little arch trick that um, it's kind of hard to explain, but um, I'm making an arch, but I'm making it very lightly because I don't really want an arch shape. I really want more of a surfboard shape, so it's going to be more of a triangle, but I'm just using the arch that I measured out as a guide, and then now I'm drawing my surfboard shape freehand so then that way it's a little more pointy at the top and not so um so wide like an arch would be so now that i have my surfboard shape cut out i just want to use my vinyl and try and find a good uh, positioning for the bottom of my vinyl so this is going to be a big five kind of like the big fahuna and i'm going to place that on my surfboard the last time i did this i got a bunch of bubbles so that's why you can kind of see um a original cutout uh that you can see where i previously placed vinyl um the first time i did it it had a lot of bubbles and i thought you know it was my first time working with vinyl and i thought maybe the bubbles would um, kind of go away over time so I just kind of left it up but now I am um, just placing the vinyl down and when you do place the vinyl down on this wood one you want to make sure your surface is um, free of any debris like any sawdust or anything like that and then the other thing you want to do is just take your time um, when you rush like putting vinyl on which is what I did the first time around um, you will get a lot of bubbles. So here I'm just like really making sure that all these bubbles are squeezed out and not visible or at least if there are bubbles they're very very small so you can't really see them because um, once you do put this on it is uh, it is kind of hard to get off. And I would recommend when you do peel the um, transfer tape off that you peel from one direction and just continue in that same direction. Because when you start peeling it, it can, you don't want to switch directions because you don't want the um, transfer, or sorry, the vinyl to start to like stretch out or start to bubble up and, and come off the surface in the middle. And it will do that if there are um, any kind of air bubbles of any size. So you just want to make sure you're applying the right pressure when you do um, place it down with the transfer tape. So next we're going to place our words above the five and this was a lot easier um i don't know if it was because the font was smaller or maybe because it's only one layer of vinyl the five actually is like two layers of vinyl um to have like the little shadow so i think maybe because it was just the one layer it was a little easier to put the the word the and the word big on the surface um, but you just want to use the same principles of making sure there's no bubbles and making sure that your positioning is how you want it to be.
you have your vinyl all placed the way you want to, you want to start blowing up your balloons. So of course, I'm going to start with all my small balloons in each of the colors that I'm using. And then I will move on to the larger balloons in the three colors that I'm using. All of my balloons are blown up. I'm going to use Gorilla Tape to secure my board to my um, my stand. Um, this is a stand that I use for my backdrops, but um, I'm going to use this since I don't have extra wood because it got wet. I'm going to use this to um, to secure it. So all I'm doing is at uh, three or four different positions I'm just using the Gorilla Tape to go around the pole and then secure on the left and the right side and then I'm also using the H method similar to what you do to anchor a balloon garland to a wall I'm using that same H method to um, secure the uh, pole to the back of the surfboard now that we have that, we're just going to um, start constructing the base of our balloon garland. thing about using the pipe and drape uh, pole that I'm using is that it is um, it is concealed by the point by the tip of the surfboard and there is a hole at the top um, that usually holds the crossbar but I looped my 260 through that hole and then made, um, made a loop so then that way I can just secure my you're just adding fillers and pretty much making it look nice and cool Thank you. 